What's up, bud? Huh? My my hands are up. My hands are up. Turn the phone off. I am out here fishing. I I have ID, but have I committed a crime? Exercising my rights freaks people out. That's not really my problem. What's your name and badge number, sir? Name and badge number, sir? Do you, do you not hear me? If you remain on or return to the above described premises, you may be subject to arrest. Are you a sovereign citizen? Oh, hell no. What? Only police are sovereign citizens. You guys investigate yourselves. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. This is one of my longer videos, but I assure you it's worth every minute. This story is brought to us by Orlando's Voice Transparency. If you like today's video and want to support OVT, his links for all videos used in this mini doc can be found in the description below. Let him know that I sent you. In late June of 2020, suited with a Vism Strike Force tactical vest, a Bushmaster AR-15, a Springfield Operator Edition 1911, a camera, and a fishing pole, Orlando's voice transparency was live streaming and went fishing with his significant other and friends. Upon his arrival, a concerned citizen placed an emergency call. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, so I just want to report an incident down at Parish uh, boat ramp in Tysville. Okay, uh, at the uh, Municipal Marina? Uh, at the, uh, over, okay. the, over Max Brewer Bridge. Oh, at Parish Park? Uh, Parish. Okay. Yes. And what happened? I was just driving through here and I seen uh, a group of people walking over to over by the bridge to fish or carrying fishing poles. But I noticed one of them had a, a firearm tucked in his waistband in his back. And he also had a long rifle strapped around his uh, neck. And it was on his chest. I mean, he didn't look like a cop. After baiting his line, members of the Titusville Police Department arrive on scene and order OVT to put his hands up and to turn off his phone. What's up, bud? Huh? My, my hands are up. My hands are up. Turn the phone off. Okay, that, you know, uh, I'm allowed to record. All right, guys, so... I'm, I'm being told by law enforcement to tone, turn my phone off. This is why you stupid. So, so you set it down. I don't yeah. care what you do. Okay, well, I, I'm going to pass the phone to him. Sure, man. There you go, man. How are you, man? I'm good. How are we doing? I am out here fishing. You got your ID on you, so I can verify who you are? I, I have ID, but have I committed a crime? I need to, I'm just trying to find out what you're doing out here in the public park. Okay, it's Okay, well, um, I'm out here fishing and if I'm not mistaken uh, What is it under Florida statute 790.25 section 3 subsection H? I'm allowed to do this and we're allowed to identify you. Uh, If I'm committing a crime you got a fishing license? Yes, sir okay, show that to? Uh, I'd rather you grab it. It's in my pocket. Uh, this one, Which one? Th This one right here Bottom left? Yeah, you see that like rectangle? I appreciate you doing that, pra uh, practicing your Second Amendment and stuff. So where's that in here? It's it's in there. Okay. Can I just take your concealed license for now? Make uh, it valid? Yeah, that's that's fine. Can I, am I, do I got to keep my hands up still? Yeah. You said yeah, keep my hands up still. Yeah, I would. Okay, okay cause that. For now. You good with that? Yeah. I have no ill will, just so you know. It's just kind of tiring I'm keeping my hands up like that. Uh, you want to rest from here? Huh? You want to rest from here? What do you yeah, want? yeah, I'll, I'll go like this. That, that feels a lot better than having them up in the air. Where are you from? If you don't from, mind me asking. From here. Tidesville? Huh? Tidesville? No, from Florida. Okay. Catch anything? We literally just got here. Okay. Yeah, we, we just got here. Uh, I grabbed. My stuff, grab some bait, and we was about to start casting out, and then I look behind me, and you guys are all here. You understand how you can freak people out? I, I understand, but if if exercising my rights freaks people out, that's not really my problem. 
people don't necessarily see the positive impact of others exercising their rights. Often, people relinquish their freedom because they are intimidated by law enforcement or simply because they are unaware. Civil rights are not a spectator sport. If we don't engage, liberty will not thrive. Your rights only end where someone else's begin. Being offended or afraid does not negate another's freedoms. No, we're not looking for no problem. Just public, just public education. I'm not saying it. Cause, cause right, right, right now, I'm out here exercising my rights. You got guys with, with rifles at, at a slant, but still kind of aimed in my direction. You're, you're making people think that what I'm doing is illegal and making me look like a criminal when I'm not. It, I, I think it's, it's just a little excessive. What's excessive is doing what you're doing. No, th but, but this, is, this, is, this is the rights of the people, right? You swore to protect this. The same way you swore to protect my right to film. And the first thing you asked me was turn off my camera. What's your name and badge number, sir? Name and badge number, sir? Do you, do you not hear me? You must not like the public, huh? It's a shame. What about you, sir? Would you tell me your name and badge number? Are you professional? Unlike this gentleman here? No, you neither? Would you identify to me, sir? A member of the public is asking you to identify. You guys make contact with me. No? One identifying either? What about you, sir? Name and badge number, please? No? Just gonna smirk at me? So this is what the police act like to the public, as you see here. On the Florida State Statute 790, Section 3, Subsection H. 790.25 Section 3 Subsection H states that it is lawful for a person engaged in fishing, camping, or lawful hunting, or going to or returning from a fishing, camping, or lawful hunting expedition to own, possess, and lawfully use firearms. It is clear that OVT is engaged in the act of fishing, and painfully obvious that these members of the Titusville Police Department are either unaware of the laws that they were sworn to enforce, or have no interest in upholding their oaths, regardless of which it might be. Instead Instead of doing a weapons check and clearing OVT, the TPD officers require him to keep his hands in an uncomfortable position for 23 minutes. In the event his arms became fatigued and he was unable to keep them in an upright position, it could have caused this interaction to end in tragedy. Now after seeing that I had a lawful concealed weapons license, these officers still choose to treat me like a criminal and make me keep my hands up here in an uncomfortable position. Anyone? who's holding their hands up for an excessive amount of time will realize that this is a bit uncomfortable. So, for exercising your rights, you get treated like a criminal, forced to do things against your will. Now just so you guys know, things like this, this is unlawful. Under US Code 18, subsection 242 and 241, this would be considered under the deprivation of civil rights while under the color of law. It's a federal offense. The U.S. Supreme Court has interpreted the U.S. Constitution to construct laws regulating the actions of the law enforcement community. Under color of law, it is a crime for one or more persons using their power given by a governmental agency to deprive or conspire willfully to deprive another person of any right protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. The way this interaction ends, it could be considered that these officers are in violation of 18 U.S. Code Section 242, deprivation of rights under color of law. Just so you know, my arms are getting kind of tired being up like this. It's, it's uncomfortable and unreasonable for someone who hasn't committed a crime. I'm literally like grabbing a grip on my collar because my arms are so tired from staying up like this. 22 minutes into the incident, Lieutenant D. Riley from the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission arrives on scene. Hey, How you doing? Huh? You recognize me? Uh, no, I don't. State police? I don't recognize you. Okay, I'm Fish and Wildlife State Police. We do all the fishing How regulations. You Are you engaged in fishing, sir? Yes, I had okay. all my fishing gear out here, but they had um, my brother-in-law pack up and take all the stuff out. Okay, so that kind of puts you in a little bit of a calamity then, doesn't it? Uh, well, I have it all on video that I have my fishing stuff okay, here. Okay, can I see it? See so, your video? Well, yeah, I, I okay, have it I have it, I have it. live. Uh, am I able to leave this spot? Because they told yeah, me to stay here. Yeah, with me, guys. Come on, let's go. You, you okay, good. Yeah, do I got to keep my hands up like around, this? Man. We're just doing a fishing check. You said you were fishing, right? Well, yeah, but they, they made me keep my hands up like this, and they made me take all my gear out after we set up to cast our lines and stuff. 
They literally took. Who, 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 it, it was my brother-in-law and my girlfriend that was here. Around, no, they made them leave over there. I don't even know where they took them. They still around? Where are the other guys? Okay. Let's, let's, your car over here? Uh, yeah, it's over there. All right, let's do, do I gotta walk like this still, or no, can no, I have no, my hands no, down? Fine, okay. Don't, do don't don't shoot me, you guys. I'm putting my hands down. He said it's okay. Right, let me hold them, guys. I'll take care. We're just giving you a vision check. Are you are you, uh, happy luck today? No, I didn't even get to cast my line out. I started getting ready to cast my line out, and then I got you freaking see your vehicles right over here. Yeah, it's uh, it's right, right there. You see? Do you see my girlfriend? Where'd he go? Yeah, let's walk over there. Let's go say hi. All right. Is this guy with you too? Yeah. Huh? Yes, oh, yes. He, he's with okay. me. Okay. Um, before you guys leave, can I get business cards, yep. please? Yep. Uh, I still got paperwork for you to sign. All right, I appreciate it. And where are you from? I, I'm from here in Florida. Oh no, but like uh, Jacksonville, Palm Beach. Uh, I, I'd, I'd prefer not to answer. I, I don't. I don't like being stalked around by people and stuff well, like that. I'm just doing fishery stuff. Did you guys possess any fish today or anything? No, we we didn't even get to we didn't even get to catch oh, any fish. So somebody called in on you. Is that what happened? How, uh, or how are well, you today? Well, they didn't they didn't say if anyone called are in. With, are you okay? They didn't say are if anyone. State police. I'm fishing wildlife. Just doing fisheries check. Did you guys have any luck today, or you never got started? Well, we didn't get to start. You guys. Okay. Don't yeah, we we literally put the hooks on the lines. And as we were getting ready to um, cast the line, yeah. I, I look over my shoulder and then I see all these guys over here with their rifles and I'm like, what the f***? Like, you know, I, I, I study the law and I, I know it's legal sure. to do this, yeah. so. No problem, I understand that too. I just I guess they were just trying to verify things so they called us over, which is no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. So what other paperwork do you have with you? Um, I, I got the fishing license if you if you no, want. No, it's free fishing weekend. Yeah, you don't even need a fishing license. Oh, wow, well, I, I didn't know that. I, I got a saltwater yeah. and a freshwater license. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, you don't even need a fishing license and stuff. All right, so what else do they need? What else do you guys need? There's really nothing here if he's got fishing poles. It's nothing. It's not going to be a problem. Okay? I appreciate it. Huh? We're in the process of trespassing. Okay. Too. They might want to trespass. That that can be different. Then. Now, how can they trespass me off of a public place? I don't know. Ask them. That That's illegal. Well, they already did me. I didn't find it. That, that's super illegal. Well, Call my lawyer. No, that's okay. Trespass. You can handle it. You know what I'm saying? You you're, you have a right. You're innocent until proven guilty. So just, you know what I mean? Do, do what you got to do there. But I, I can't speak for them. I don't know anything about that part. I was just going to do the fishery check. I'm done. You have anything else for me? Uh, no. No. Oh. Uh, question, what, what was your name, sir? Uh, Lieutenant Riley. L R -L Lieutenant Riley? I appreciate it. You're very professional. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, nothing really wrong. I mean, you've got the fishing poles. Um, says he's fishing. Free fishing weekend. He has fishing licenses, but he doesn't really have to produce them and doesn't need to show us that. So, um, certainly, uh, okay. So, I don't know anything about the other part. Okay. You know? He... I, don't know, I guess they're issuing trespass to us for doing lawful it's a, activity. It's a county park. It's a county park, but it's open to the public, correct? It is open, so, but the county has given the police department the rights to trespass. If someone's committing a crime. Well, you know, just handle it in court. You, you're wasting your time arguing it here. You just take it to court. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's fine. Right. This, you're, you're that, that's, into that's, a, that's fine. You're getting into a I'm right, I'm right kind of argument. It's, nobody's ever going to be right there. You know what I mean? That's what courts are for. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I, I know how it goes. But no, no. It, it, it wouldn't be the first county I handled it with. You want to have a court system for that reason. Mm -hmm. Minimize your uh, your unnecessary, uh, not you, but anything to get. The unnecessary part is saying that we can't come out here and fish, you know, you know? Yeah. especially when it when it's it's legal. Yeah, you, no, no. Again, we're arguing. We're I, get, arguing. I, get people, I, I get I get people. I get people are calling. No, no. I'm just I'm just explaining. So I get people are calling, right? Fish with a bulletproof vest on, and they look like police officers. I understand that most people don't fish with a bulletproof vest on, but the thing is, is it's legal. And the only way people are going to understand and know is by creating public Listen, awareness. But when you guys legal. roll up, hold on, like, let me, just let me finish. When, 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 people keep, when people call and say okay. there's a man out here with an AR-15 slung across his chest. I get it, but the, it's not illegal. You swore to uphold the law. The, what your job should have been is, hey, there's a guy with an AR-15. All right, well, let me make sure he's fishing because that is legal out here in Florida. And then all you have to do is tell them, hey, look, it's legal. Now, unless I'm committing a crime, then that'd be different. Then you can be like, oh, no, nah, you know, arrest or, or trespass, whatever you want to do. But to tell me I can't fish in a place that's open to the public for not doing anything illegal, it's not right. Yeah, they're writing out trespass right now. They're not trespassing you. What do you say? Not trespassing for that. Look, just take it to court. That's the best thing I can tell you. All right. So, okay. so the fact that this is county, this is paid with tax right, dollars, I'm isn't it? Off. Good meeting you, sir. Yeah. Thank what you so much, uh, Drew. Drew, thanks, Drew. Thank, thank you, sir. Right, you're you're professional compared to what I'm experiencing here.
I'll let you wrap it up, but I just like I said, you know, you have your right to go to court. You're innocent until proven guilty. Just go to court. And, and question: do, do you got a, a like a badge number, a business card, or anything? I don't have a badge number, and I don't have a business Cause, card. Because whenever, whenever I see someone, that, you can you can look me up at myfmc.com. All right, yeah. Whenever I see Thanks people doing their job the way they're yeah, supposed to do it, I like giving them not, combination. Not all those formalities. What I deal with is out here, and there are different sort of things you deal with in different realms of police that can be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. stuff. You try to do, you try to be consistent, but it's not always that easy. Okay, let's go. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Hey, hey, question. They force you to ID. He's got something. Yeah, something. All right. So here's what we got, man. You're gonna be trespassed from the park. Okay. You've ever been trespassed anywhere before? No. All right. Well, I'm gonna explain it to you either way. But so, in course is that is that a personal phone, sir? Listen to him. Is, is that a personal phone? Listen you just took a picture of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I'm going to be for your requesting this, so don't delete it, please. In accordance with sections 8108, 8109, Florida statute, you're hereby ordered to leave the above described premises immediately. It's Parish Park 1A, Max Brewer Memorial, okay? If you remain on or return to the above described premises, you may be subject to arrest. This trespass warning remains in effect indefinitely, okay? That's forever, all right? It does not get lifted. All right. Would you like to sign? It is no. not an admission I'm, of anything. It is simply acknowledging... No, that not, not signing it because that, that, that trespass is really, really full of shit. It, it's okay. all bullshit. Are you a sovereign citizen? Oh, hell no. What? Okay. Only police are sovereign citizens. Okay. You guys investigate yourselves. Okay. What type of question is that, man? Come on now. Yeah, I got another well, one. Some sovereign citizens do say forms are BS, so that's why I was asking. No, no, it's just it's just that's BS because, come on, you swore an oath to the Constitution, correct? All right. I, I I need business cards. You told me. On me right now, well, well, you're, can you write down? Recording, okay, Lieutenant Wright. Okay, badge number. Number one one oh seven. Okay, and can I get these other officers you can call also? Call into our department and get the CAD report. Well, it's gonna have every officer that's out here. Okay, okay but you're you're I'm in charge of them. Not wasting the time. Get in your car and leave. If you don't leave, I will arrest you for trespassing. Now. So. Understood. You're gonna arrest me for a bullshit trespass. Uh, friend, you might want to convince him to get in the car. Might want to convince him to get in the car. You're a disgrace to police officers, man. You really are. And you're teaching these guys wrong. Okay. Hold on. I got to put my stuff in the car. I feel more comfortable putting it in the car when you guys aren't surrounding me. Because the last thing I need is for me to try to put my rifle in my car. Because you're not going to handle in front of me. Because I don't know you. I, exactly. That's right. So you can get in the middle seat and then take all your stuff off as you're driving down the road. Okay? All right. And this was the Titusville Police Department, guys. Making people think that this is a crime. OVT and his companions were able to leave without further incident. Two months later, the individuals on screen traveled to the Titusville Police Department to conduct a First Amendment audit and to FOIA request the body cam footage from the incident. Uh, how are you doing today? Um, well, I guess they spoke to potentially, was it that officer you guys spoke to at the window or different? The, the communications. Okay, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that when I go back to where it is that I'm going to be fishing at, that I don't end up going to jail. So all trespasses have been taken down, correct? As far as I know, yes. They, uh, uh, I guess uh, Parks and Rex called yesterday mm -hmm. and they uh, decided to just go ahead and uh, waive all the trespasses that were issued on that whatever day. On all four individuals? Yeah, there was a couple, of, a couple of them. I think it was like four. Yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. And um, is Lieutenant Ride and all the other officers who were misinformed of the law going to be educated on that law? Well, I, I was not there, so I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I spoke with this gentleman before. Again, I was not there, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I know that you can have a weapon when you're fishing, as mm -hmm. long as you're fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, so do they know that? I have not spoken to them about that. Okay. So, well, uh, are you like their immediate supervisor? No, we're same rank. Same rank? No. Okay. Yeah, the, the one that's above that is commanders, deputy chief, and chief. All right, perfect. I'm, I'm and, the lieutenant for the squad that I'm working on. And, and if I wanted to speak to the person who is their immediate supervisor, what would their name be so I can uh, try to contact them? Deputy him? Hutch, he's the deputy chief. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Lieutenant Kane, I mean Commander Kane. Commander Kane he's and Deputy us. Hutch. Yeah. All right, perfect. Commander Kane's above us, the deputy's above the commander. Do you, okay. Do you understand not providing paperwork that shows that the gentleman's trespass is being resent can, can cause a lot of problems out there when we're- It, it won't cause any problems because if somebody runs your name, it'll show that there is no trespass. So is, is that going to be before or after they lay us out and take it on the ground? Or are they not going to? Why would they lay you on the ground? 
Well, they had me yeah. with my hands up for about 30 something minutes. I mean, why would they? Because they're probably tyrants. I mean, do you have any time for me I am not going to get into those type of questions. I'm going to oh, answer the questions that he's asking okay. and we'll just stick okay. to Okay. Well, I'll do what you like today. You work for me. All right. Well, yeah, that, that, that's all I wanted to know because in the end of the day, he was misinformed of the law and, and something like that can potentially end up getting somebody hurt. You know, what if, what if I couldn't keep my hands up for as long as they made me keep my hands up and I got tired and my hands dropped? Would well, they have shot me because I had a firearm legally carrying, you know? So I just want to make sure that they get trained properly. And again, if you, what you can do is if you, if you feel like you need to talk to somebody else, they're up on those. All right, no problem. I appreciate you being cordial with me. Thank you, sir. With the trespass finally lifted, OVT returned to the same location to celebrate a massive win for freedom. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Please hop on over to OVT's channel and show him some support. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.